All right. I would like to welcome everyone to the 2020 spring celebration of our graduates. Um, if everyone could turn off their video and their mics right now, I would appreciate that so we can get started. So what I would like right now is for the graduates, please turn on your video, but please keep your microphones muted. Graduates, please put on your video. Okay, that should be done planned. Okay, so um, we would like to start with some opening remarks. Uh, we will begin with Dr. Uh, McLean. Great, thank you. Hi everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. McLean, and I'd like to welcome you all to our first ever virtual MIP graduation farewell. And I'd like to start off with a few remarks to our graduates, but first I want to thank, so I don't forget, um, Dr. Suchman and Dr. Tracy Kinkle for putting this all together for us. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, graduates, this is for you. Albert Einstein once said, in the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. Today we are gathered here remotely to demonstrate that truth. At the beginning of the semester, None of us could have imagined that we would be here now, surviving a global pandemic and rearranging our best laid plans. But despite the challenges and the changes, the fears and inconveniences, you have all persevered. And that is something to be proud of. Throughout your time in the microbiology program, you have learned the foundational knowledge and skills necessary to carry you forward to future endeavors. As you embark on this next season of your life, carrying with you the distinguished accomplishment of being a graduate of Colorado State University. Please remember what you have learned during your time here. You are the future doctors, scientists, and professionals who will help solve global problems like the one we are currently facing today. You will do so knowing that big challenges are worth taking on, they're worth fighting for, and worth the suffering it takes to complete them. You will do so knowing that in spite of setbacks, you can and will persevere if you choose, just like you have done over the last four years and during this last semester in particular. My hope is that you will look back on CSU and MIP with affection and pride for what you've accomplished, that you will use the lessons semester through the lens of frustration or inconvenience, but rather through the lens of inspiration and innovation knowing that you are now part of the global scientific community charged with making the world a better and safer place for everyone. No pressure. Congratulations to all of you. Class of 2020. Yay! Today's celebration is brought to you by the faculty and the staff of MIT who are very sad they would not be able to wish you a proper farewell in person. So we hope and to let you know how much we enjoyed having you in our department and how and that we wish you great things for you in the future. 
faculty and staff, please turn on your video, unmute your microphones, and introduce yourselves. I'm Pete Justice. I teach uh, MIT Fair 2 General <laughs> Micro Lab. I'm Katriana Popichek. I teach microbiology. Hello, I'm Marcela Inaota Mayo, and I teach microbiology. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Brendan Podell. I teach I'm Ashley McGrew. And animal disease. Congratulations, everyone. I'm Ashley McGrew, and I teach parasitology. Congratulations. I'm Doreen Hyatt. I teach food microbiology and general microbiology. Congratulations. My name is Medora Hughesby. I teach eukaryotic microbiology and introduction to research methods. Congratulations. My name is Dr. Tracy Kinkle, and I teach the virology cell culture lab and co-coordinate the cure labs. Hi, my name is Claudia Gentry Weeks, and I teach MIP 150 Introduction to Research Methods. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Congrats, everyone. I'm Alan Schenkel. I also co teach the Cure Labs with Tracy Kinkle, and I taught a lot of you guys in immunology. I was so glad to have you guys in my classes. It was wonderful having you in our labs, and I wish you the best of luck. Ditto to that. Teach immunology, general microbiology. We're going to miss you. Hey, this is Mark Sable, um, and I miss my immunology team. This is the first year in 13 years I haven't taught immunology. I also teach pre on immunology and a grant writing course. And congratulations. Uh, your degrees have never been more relevant than they are right now. And I'm Dr. Erica Suchman. I teach virology, virology and cell culture lab, and general microbiology. Is there anyone? Lisa, Carrie, Heidi, any of you guys want to introduce yourselves? Sure. Hi, my name is Carrie Schlobaum, and I am one of the microbiology advisors. Congratulations, everybody. And I'm Lisa McCann, another microbiology advisor. So proud of you. You have gotten through so much. I'm Heidi Rangi. I'm one of the graduate coordinators in MIT, but um, do some administrative work for the undergrad programs too. Um, and I just want to say congratulations, everybody. I'm Colette Hegeman. I am also a graduate program academic coordinator, and congratulations to all of you on this big accomplishment. Okay. So now the um, if the faculty and staff would please turn off your audio and your and mute your microphone. We now have a few words from the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences Dean's Office and the Chair of the Department of Microbiology, Immunology, and Pathology. Sandy Krakenbush, for all of you that don't know me. So I'm faculty in MIP, and I used to teach the virology class with Erica, um, but I do teach the honors breakout section for virology. So for those of you who may be here today and I've had you in class recently, Congratulations, and I really appreciate um, the time we've spent in our class. I also have the pleasure of serving as the Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs in the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences. So I want to extend my congratulations to all of you for a job well done. We're really proud of you. It's been a pleasure to get to know many of you over the past few years, and I know that the past few months weren't what any of us expected. But I, but I am comforted to know that you are prepared with the skills and knowledge to be successful in whatever you choose to do. You are the next generation of scientists who will make a difference in this world. I look forward to hearing about your accomplishments and your adventures. Don't hesitate to reach out to us. I wish you all the best. So take care of yourself, your friends, and your family. And best of luck, really. Okay, and now some comments from Dr. Dean, who's the chair of our department. And unfortunately, he couldn't be here with today, but he sent us a video. Greetings, microbiology graduates. 
congratulations to you and thank you for all that you've brought to CSU. Our primary mission is to provide you with a solid education in the field of microbiology so that you can go on to a variety of fulfilling careers. We get so much from all of you. After four years, or maybe longer, we get to know each other quite well, and every class leaves their imprint on the department. So much of our satisfaction comes from seeing all of you grow and mature as you gain knowledge and a greater understanding of how to put your knowledge and skills to use. We are terribly disappointed to not have the chance to dress up in funny outfits and congratulate each of you in person. I couldn't resist wearing my graduation hat, plus it covers up my horrible pandemic hair. Uh, but here we are doing the best we can. I know I had the chance to discuss disruptive technologies with many of you, and I challenge you to consider how you would respond to future disruptive technologies once you graduate. I do not anticipate that we would all live and learn and struggle together during a historical disruptive event like this coronavirus pandemic. Think about it. You have and are experiencing a truly life-changing event that will undoubtedly impact you personally and professionally. It's a scary time to be jumping into the next phase of your life, and yet, as microbiologists, I hope you also find it to be exciting. I cannot imagine a more relevant major than microbiology at this point in time. Surely this drives home the need for our discipline and reveals the opportunity and obligation you have before you. This is why we as academics do what we do, prepare the next generation of scientists who will go on to study, treat, and prevent a plethora of biomedical conditions through so many important career pathways. So again, congratulations, microbiologists. Let us know what challenges you face, opportunities you encounter, and call on us if we can help. We know you all well. Don't be strangers, and good luck. And now we would like to recognize the graduates. So I will be reading the uh, materials that you submitted to the college. Uh, Dr. Kinkle will pop up your picture while I read about you so that your family can watch as I read. Our first graduate is Marissa Lynn Ashwood of Cuba, Illinois. She worked as a pharmacy technician, conducted research in the Borley lab, and was an active member of the Beta 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 Biological Honor Society. Marissa will pursue a career focusing on quality control of pharmaceuticals and research. Nicholas J. Bartillo of Mead, Colorado, worked at the Foundry Dining Hall, participated in undergraduate research fellowship program, and conducted research in the Borley Lab. Nicholas will continue conducting microbiology research and pursue a career in quality control. Landon Bassner, Tyler Betancourt, of Pleasanton, California, is excited to announce he will continue his education at the Colorado Center for My Medical Laboratory Sciences at MSU Denver starting in June. Emily Bliss. Kayleen Borrego of J Grand Junction conducted research at the Crew Garcia Lab, was a member of the Delta 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 International Sorority, and worked part-time as a phlebotomist at CSL Plasma. Kayleen will seek jobs in the pharmaceutical research and development industry industry. Emily Burnett, Richard T. Clark III of McAllister, Oklahoma, gained research experience, spent a lot of time studying, worked with some animals, ate a lot of dollar store eggs. After graduation, Richard will pursue veterinary school. Dylan Donahue of Wiggins, Colorado, conducted research in the Olver lab, served as president of the Microbiology Students Association and College Council, and enjoyed rock climbing and skiing. Dylan will take a year to travel and volunteer abroad before attending graduate school. Jonathan Duturo, Maxwell Fry, Sydney Marie Gold Goldacker of St. Louis, Missouri, was an active member of the philanthropy chair of the Chi Omega sorority and completed the president's leadership program with a minor in leadership studies. Sydney plans to work in a research lab before applying to medical school. Danica Harris of Lakewood, Colorado, was a Daniels Fund scholar and an ambassador. 
She participated in the Sigma Alpha Professional Agriculture Sorority in Primedica and worked in a tuberculosis research lab. Danica will work as a microbiologist for KBI Biofound. Mercedes Hennessy of Fruit of Colorado gained research experience in Dr. Zabel's lab, worked as a resident assistant, was an officer in Primedica, and presented research at Murals, CURC, and the Women in Science Symposium. Mercedes will gain experience in the medical field before pursuing medical school. Jack Morgan Hobbs of Louisville, Colorado, conducted research in an in intestinal health lab and became an undergraduate research fellow with the American Society of Microbiology. Jack will pursue a career in biotechnology before attending graduate school. Laura Marie Hodges, Joey Holmes of Scottsdale, Arizona, gained experience in the Akina lab researching Zika virus, rock climbing with friends, and played guitar in his free time. Joey plans to continue working in the Akina lab before pursuing a job in industry. Carolyn Nicole Johnson, Jade Keebler, Catherine Kropinski of Tempe, Arizona, served as an academic excellence chair and vice president of operations for Kappa Delta Sorority. Completed on the CSU, or competed on the CSU figure skating team and led the microbiology peer mentoring program. Catherine will pursue a master's of public health in epidemiology from Emory University. Bree Kuchensky, some of her best memories during her time at CFU had been the friendship stage during these relentless suffering in the pursuit of knowledge. She will always cherish what CSU and her many teachers have provided her. She takes pride in her ability to have excelled in a painting's degree and yet remains humbled by the oceans of knowledge offered in this field. Her future endeavors, she plans to pursue a degree in medicine and find a adventure in the, along the way. She wants to thank her family, friends, and guidance for their love and support. Amanda Latham of Colorado Springs conducted research on T-cells in Dr. Basarabla's tuberculosis lab, completed two minors in chemistry and biomedical sciences, and made many, many friends that became family. Amanda plans to pursue a PhD in microbiology and pursue a career in infectious disease research. Aviva Lesnick of Las Vegas, Nevada, served on the executive board of Sigma Alpha Epsilon Pi, helped incoming students as a resident assistant, conducted influenza vaccine research with Vivaldi Biosciences, and studied abroad in New Zealand. Aviva will pursue a career in food microbiology. Brianna Marcico of Tacoma, Washington, enjoyed climbing, biking, and hiking in Colorado while gaining valuable research experience and employment at the Infectious Disease Research Center. Bri will be employed as a postgrad research assistant at the um, Infectious Disease Research Center and plans to pursue a PhD in virology. Stephanie Laurie McMahon of Highlands Ranch was a member of the Delta 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 sorority, volunteered at St. Jude Children's Hospital and worked in Dr. Zabel's Freon Research Lab. Stephanie will pursue a PhD in genetics at Texas A&M. Emma McVicker, Michelle Mendoza, Micah Mashad of Loveland plans to pursue a career in pharmaceutical quality control. Julian Milius of Livermore, California plans to pursue graduate school for computational biology. Haley Ann Nussbaum of Houston, Texas, sorry, Houston, Texas, gained research experience in the Jackson Lab, worked part-time as a leasing agent, and made great friends along the way. Haley plans to work in a research and academia before continuing her education by applying for a medical laboratory sciences program. Elizabeth Jane Owens of Loveland gained research experience in the Kranz and Ordway's labs and worked part-time at Great Harvest Bakery. Elizabeth will pursue a master's degree in microbiology and continue gaining experience in a microbiology industry field. Jamie Philp of Richmond, Texas, conducted research on mycobacteria, volunteered at the local emergency room, and completed her honors thesis. Jamie will continue conducting research before pursuing medical school. Zoe Reed, Carla Ray Diaz of Lima, Peru, conducted research on mycobacterium, worked on campus throughout her time at CSU, volunteered as a veterinary assistant, and served as an officer for the Dreamers United. Carla plans to pursue a master's degree in virology. Julie Ann Rizzuti of Colorado Springs was a member of the Kappa Delta sorority and enjoyed spending time at the Ramsgeller. Julie will attend a medical laboratory science program beginning this summer. 
Alexandra Russell, Wade Sawegaed of Ar Arvada, conducted research on mycobacterium tuberculosis and worked part-time at a restaurant in his hometown. Wade will attend the CSU and shoot Skag School of Pharmacy in the fall and plans to specialize in critical care pharmacy. Anna Kate Schofield of Colorado Springs worked as a tutor in TILT, served as a treasurer for CSU Kappa Kappa Gamma chapter, and intern at a research lab studying the relationship between asthma and influenza. Anna Kate will gain work experience before attending pharmacy school. Tristan Thirol of Centennial will pursue employment on the East Coast. Jules Skoda. Kayla Ann Snide of Littleton worked as a research assistant in the Santangelo lab, volunteered at the Denver Zoo Veterinary Hospital, and worked throughout college at a restaurant in a retirement home. Kayla will attend the Medical Laboratory Science Program at Metro State University. Stephanie Satomi Duin of Kimnet conducted research in the telling lab, served as a financial officer for the CSU Navigators, and participated in Semester at Sea Spring Voyage 2019. Stephanie plans to attend graduate school and continue conducting microbiology research. Emily Thorson of Las Vegas participated in academic research, served as president of the Transfer Student Honor Society Tau Sigma, and volunteered at local hospitals. Emily will continue working as a medical scribe while applying to medical school. Jed Percival Urbano of San Diego gained experience at CSU's Vet Diagnostic Laboratory Prion Lab, kept old friends and gained new ones, and enjoyed spending his last two years of college in Fort Collins. Jed will return to California and pursue a medical laboratory science program. Helen Miranda Vary of Parker conducted research in the Leonard's and Roberts lab, interned at Allosource in the R&D department, and participated in intramural sports, gaining lifelong friends along the way. Helen will attend Colorado State University to earn a master's degree in microbiology and immunology. Lee Vick, Sierra Westmoreland of Eaton, Colorado, will attend medical a medical laboratory science program. Drew Wilson competed both a bachelor's degree of science and a bachelor of arts in political science and looks forward to gaining more experience to earn an MPH and eventually a PhD. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize for anybody whose beautiful name I slaughtered as I was saying that. That was the part I was most nervous about. So I deeply apologize if I mispronounced your name. So, we all know that nobody makes it through college without the help of friends, mentors, and families. Graduates, please open your video and unmute your microphones and give a round of applause to those who help you financially, emotionally, or both, your friends, your mentors, and your families. <laughs> there you go, that was better. Do it one more time. Yes. Nice, nice work. All right. So we would like to acknowledge how difficult this semester was and what an accomplishment was that you all made it through this. Truly, if you can make it through this, you can make it through you can make it through anything. You definitely mastered resilience this semester. Will all of the friends, family, and faculty and staff present please turn on your video and microphones now and applaud this worthy group of students who <laughs> persevered during the most difficult semester any of us have ever had to go through. Thank you for joining us. And please feel free to stay on and mingle as long as you like. Hey, everyone, good job. I swear. Oh, there's Grandma! <laughs> Can we talk to Ben now? You may. Oh, okay, <laughs> just checking. <laughs> Anna Banana, congratulations! Oh, no, great girl. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> she really liked the Anna Banana part. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm going to mute ourselves. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hi, group. Thank you for all wearing your masks since you're together. Yeah.
but we might still be able to. I'm happy to report. Uh, if you go to the bottom. This fancy hat is my dad's little Greek hat, and my mom made me the tassel. I love it. All right, you're all welcome to chat with each other if you'd like. Thank you so much for doing this for us. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you, Dr. Suchman. This was great. This is stressful. <laughs> yeah. No, we're gonna say hello. I'm gonna miss you all. <laughs> Thank you to all the faculty at CSU. I did it. <laughs> you Hi, V. Hi, Dad. Love you, honey. Love you, too. Thank Thanks you for, for putting, putting on your cap. <laughs> good job, graduates. Yep, good, good job, everyone. Good luck to you all. Take care. Thanks, Bye, V. Thanks, v. Congratulations. Love you, Emily Thorson. Woo! Go, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Go save the world. You can do Good it. Good job, Tristan. We are so Good proud of you. Thanks, Tristan. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations, Katie. Katie! Hi, child. Do you guys want to watch the um, slideshow one more time yeah, and I'll play the music yeah, yeah. in the background? I do have to point out, though, that I had no male students send me a picture. So very female heavy. <laughs> yeah, she's there. She's on the screen right now. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I saw your name come up. Did you see mine? Oh, oh, my God. I was on the screen. Okay. Yeah, we saw it. And yeah. Alpha <laughs> please stay in touch. Yes, please do. I love those shirts, Aviva. Thank you. I need one of those. I can send you mine. I don't wear it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. Someone's got music on. Say you're, we're so proud of you, son. We were, we were there with you. We're out here in California, and we love you, and we can't wait to see you soon. Love you guys, too. <laughs> Anybody want to talk to their parents? You can. Oh, nice. You, you sufficiently. Dad. You managed to get as many people as possible showing, and I'm, I'm super proud of you. <laughs> Look at that flag. I know. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> 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 
します。<笑><笑>